Okay, so we're back with a little bit more War Thunder. Today we're going to take up the KI-84 Co. Uh, this uh, aircraft, uh, it, it's one of the very few uh, planes in the Japanese lineup that actually is fast enough where you can use it as a boom and zoom fighter. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that at really, really high speeds, the control surfaces tend to lock up, and this thing also suffers a lot uh, whenever you don't have any modifications for it. I know this firsthand because I have been, I've been working on this plane for a little while now, getting its modifications unlocked. As you can see, it's still, it's, it's not spaded, but it's not exactly stock either. Uh, I've got a little over half of the uh, modifications open for it. Um, so we're going to take this plane up, and we are going to see if we can get any more of these upgrades for it. Uh, I I have my doubts as to whether or not I'll be able to uh, to unlock a bunch of them in one game. I might be able to get the uh, offensive armament, but as you you may have noticed, I, I don't run a premium account. I'm not going to pay for I'm not going to pay to play a free to play game. So um, we're going to uh, move on uh, with my. Uh, research into this plane and hopefully get a little bit further into unlocking the KI-61 uh, that's up above it in uh, tier 3. Uh, I, I'm still working on uh, unlocking both of the planes that the Japanese got in this uh, latest patch so once I have those unlocked I'll, uh, I'll try to get a video up on those as well but for now let's stick to the KI-84 and to battle and let's see what we can do. So, a mere 30 seconds later, we find ourselves in battle with the Russians. So, we need to get up to high altitude. And you remember what I said about this plane not being able to turn with Spitfires? Well, that includes Yaks. So, we're not going to be, we're not turning with them. We need to get up to high altitude and we need to boom and zoom. Okay, I've made it into position. I'm trying to chase down this Yak-9. He just wrecked our uh, our uh, other Ki-84. See if we can get in there. Nope, don't like that angle. All right, the I-185 then. Since he seems intent on climbing after me, let's take it in there and get him. No good. I see you, Yak-9. And I'm not falling for that.
Come on, J2M, I got this guy prop hanging for you. There you go, get him. Nice. Alright, I-185 it is. Get baited, son. Nice, J2M's just wrecking these guys. There's only one enemy left. Where is he? All right, where's the last guy? Yak-9. This KI-43 should eat him for lunch. If he turns, that is. He, he appears to be just going straight ahead. Maybe he's got a dead engine or something. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Okay, I've lost sight. There he is. Got a piece of him. Got it. Okay, so that wasn't my best game in this plane, admittedly. I've had better games, but that game still showed you what the capabilities of this aircraft are. It's really fast. It's, prob it's definitely one of the fastest planes that the Japanese had in their arsenal. Um, you notice, whenever I was fighting the Yak-9 and the I-185 at the same time, the energy retention of this plane meant it, it kept me out of harm's out of harm's way they couldn't reach me they can't they were not able to reach me I climbed way up out of their out of their range and they stalled before they could even before they could even uh, get in line uh, to get a shot on me and that's where this plane's strength lies is in its speed keep it nice and fast but um, at the same time no know when to to pull out of the battle because uh, if if I had stuck around there to fight the Yak-9 in and the I-185 in a turn fight they would have eaten my lunch because I would have been all I, they would have been all over me by keeping my speed up and pulling out of range for them uh, from them they weren't able to get any shots into me and uh, it showed again whenever I whenever I got my kill there against the Yak-9 with the speed I had, I was even whenever I dropped down to low altitude, I was still at a higher energy state than he was, and I was able to pull out of reach. And he, there was nothing he could do about it. Uh, that's really the best way to fly the Ki, all of the variants of the Ki-84s, 
and really most boom and zoom fighters uh just in general uh p47 hellcat th uh, things like that you want to keep them up at high speeds um so i hope that this uh i hope that this demonstration helped anybody who's wanting to learn how to fly the ki-84 because it's really not a bad aircraft um like like i said it's one of the fastest planes that the japanese had in their arsenal during world war ii and it, it i mean it was de it was deadly so again like i said i hope that this video helped uh kind of answer some questions on how to fly it and i hope i'll see you guys again in my next video if you liked what you saw click the uh, like button down below and the subscribe button and i'll see you next time Thank you.